Uh, let's do this thing. Got a dance banger. Love that dance music. Coming up as a top 45 extra on my fancy playlist of August 29th, 1987. Pepsi and Shirley with Heartache. Does anybody remember Pepsi and Shirley from England? A duo from England consisting of Helen Pepsi DeMac, Shirley Holloman, uh, that back, they were backing vocals. They were backup singers for Wham! back in the day, backup dancers for Wham! And they uh, went out on their own when Wham! broke up. And oh, I'll get into that part in just a minute. The, the thing about Pepsi and Shirley is they got a lot of buzz here in the States. A lot of buzz. Radio, uh, well, it was somebody you heard about, but someone you didn't hear that much on the radio. At least not here in Alabama. Not that much in Alabama at all. And, uh, if you ask somebody, have you ever heard of Pepsi and Shirley? They got this great dance record. They got this great dance pop record out called Heartache. You'll probably get a shrug of indifference or perhaps a puzzled look. Did well in England, though. They had two top ten hits in England. Now, when the, when Wham broke up, when they went out on their own, uh, the Mac wanted to pursue a solo career. She wanted to do this thing on her own. But Shirley Holloman, she persuaded the Mac... Let's do this as a duo. Let's perform. Let's let's pursue our dreams together. They hooked up with a producer, one of the producers of the album. And by the way, the album is called All Right Now. It came out in 1987. The album was produced or co-produced by a guy named Philip Fearon. And he had he had developed quite a reputation of his own. He fronted an act in the UK called Dan well, it was called Galaxy, and they had a hit called Dancing Tight back in 1983. That was a top ten in England. And they had another one called What Do I Do? which was a top five in England back in I guess around maybe 1984 or 85. Bottom line is this guy had a reputation, he had a prestige. He knew what he was doing as he went in and produced this album by Pepsi and Shirley. And it's all right now, back in 1987. Boy, I love the way this song begins. She just, I, I can't remember who, which one was Shirley, which one was Pepsi, but the woman just let it out. Just a high, high octane focal at the beginning of this record. It was one of the hooks of the record. A strong, they developed a, they had done a superb emotional reading of the record. It's paced by smooth deli vocal delivery, emotional delivery too, and, and interspersed with the high octane, uh, the highs, the vocal highs that they that they uh, performed on this record. It was quite a package they put together on this song. Th these two women in the video, in particular, they're they're dancing around. There's all these admiring men, and admiring men, indeed, for good reason. They exuded. They were having a good time performing the video. They exuded copious amounts of glee, of charisma, of sex appeal. You combine that with singing technique, and <laughs> put a bow on that package. Pepsi and Shirley with heartache, but no cigar here in the States. Have mercy. Come on. Well, it's no surprise. It only got as high as number 87 on Billboard's Hot 100. No, 78. Well, 78, 78 or 87, that's on the low rung of Billboard's Hot 100. But went to number two in England. Heartache went to number two, and the runner-up to that, Goodbye Stranger, went to number nine in Britain. And by the way, Heartache was top ten in five or six countries in Europe, including Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands. They love that dance music over there. Those radio stations over there, not afraid of playing that high-tech dance music back in the day and, obviously, and today as well. And, uh, oh my goodness, I'm losing my train of thought. What else needs to be said? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. One of the best parts here. <laughs> this leads to something else. You see, you read one factoid. You, you come across a factoid, and it ignites memories of something else that engages your attention. Well, back in 2000, uh, Pessy and Shirley, they sang back up. Uh, to uh, Jerry Hollowell. Jerry Hollowell of the Spice Girls would bag it up with the number one in England back in 2000. And I got to tell you real quick, and this is for the folks here watching this video here in the States. If you're watching this video in England, this is probably old news to you. But here, I got to tell you, uh, folks here in the States, the Spice Girls, when they, I guess when they broke up back in the early to mid 2000s, uh, they, maybe into the late 2000s, they came up with some superb singles in England. 
uh, including Emma Bunton. She had one that I can't remember the name of it, though, back in the summer of 2001. And Melanie C., I believe, was another one. She had some good ones out. But Jerry Hallwell, she had that bag it up. And in the summer of 2001, she did a superb, a resounding rendition of the Weather Girls. It's raining, man. you got to listen to the record, how her, her voice surrounded by these swirling dynamic synth. It's just one of those dynamic records that just completely absorbs. It's just absorbing. Jerry Hollowell's It's Raining Man just delivering. Again, you know, on these songs, it's Pepsi and Shirley, Spice Girls, or Jerry Hollowell. You got that, you got that total, the winning, the five star, the sterling combination of sex appeal, of technique, of emotional delivery, of sincerity. That's it. I'm done. Top 40 Extra on my fancy playlist of August the 29th. Well, Top 45 Extra, rather. Or did I say Top 40? Top 40, Top 45. Well, either way, an extra on this fancy playlist, August 29th, 1987. Heartache, Pepsi and Shirley.